the value of a float type variable is represented using the single precision 32 bit floating point format of IEEE 754 standard that uses 1 bit for sign, 8 bits for bias exponent and 23 bits for mantissa. So first let us look at how this representation looks like. As you can see, this is the representation given below where the size is 32 bits from 0 to bit 31 which uses 1 bit for sign as you can see S that is the 31st bit is reserved for the sign 8 bits for the biased exponent we will see what is biased in a moment as you can see 8 bits are reserved here from bit 23 to 30, 30 and last 23 bits for mantissa which is from 0 to 22 the formula of this floating point representation is given as follow that is minus 1 raised to s into 1 point m into 2 raised to e minus 127 this is known as biased because e is always represented in an excess 127 format a float type variable x is assigned the decimal value of minus 14.25 so i can write it as float x is equal to minus 14.25 now as said in the question float type variable is always represented using the single precision 32 bit ieee 754 format that is it will be represented in this format now let us see how to convert minus 14.25 into this format since minus 14.25 is a negative number the sign bit will always represent 1 and why is that so because minus 1 raised to 1 is minus 1 and hence s takes on the value 1 similarly if it, if it was a positive number s would have been 0 now to proceed further we need to convert 14.25 into binary as you know since this is a decimal number we need to convert 14 separately into binary that is 1110 and then separately consider 0 0.25 and consider, convert it into binary how we do that is you multiply 0 0.25 into 2 you get the answer as 0 0.5 as you can see 0 is the first answer then you multiply 0 0.5 into 2 you get 1 and that is where you stop as you can see 0 1 is the value of 0 0.25 in binary so my number is actually after you combine both of them the number is 1110.01 but is it in this format that is one point anything no and hence we need to shift this point three times and with this the new value is 1.110 0 1 into 2 raised to 3 mind it it won't be 10 raised to 3 because base 10 is used only for decimal number systems let us now find the value of e and m respectively m if you compare is nothing but 11001 followed by infinite zeros so here it will be 11001 followed by the number of zeros required to complete 23 bits so till 23 bits then we have e minus 127 is equal to 3 with this we get e is equal to 130 which is in binary 1000 so substituting this value in e we get now we will just look at the value in hexadecimal that is take 4 bits at a time so with this we get this is nothing but c 0001 is 1 this is 6 0100 0, 0, 0 is 4 followed by let's take 4 zero since it will be all zeros from now on it will be 0 0 0 and 0 and the answer is a